Hello, we are members of Gamma Theta Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. We are members of the chapter that Justice Peggy Quince is a member of, and we are so happy to celebrate her retirement this evening. She is a phenomenal woman, a phenomenal member of our organization, and she will roll up her hands and serve the community and do whatever is needed to help people who are underserved. These are other members, and if anyone else wants to say something. Congratulations. Justice, Justice Quince, you're emblematic of the true Alpha Kappa Alpha woman. We are so proud that you've been a trailblazer in our state, and we stand proudly with you today to celebrate all that you've done and all that you represent. We love you, Peg. We, we love, love you, you, Sarah Peggy. Bye. 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 Wish you well. Congratulations. Hi, Justice Quince. Uh, congratulations on your retirement. I can't wait to hear all about your trip around the world. Time certainly flies. I hate to admit my age, but I can say I knew you way back when. It's been at least a good 35 years now. I'm so excited for you and your next chapter. You were a phenomenal jurist and a tremendous contributor to both our profession and our community, and I am thrilled at the idea that we'll be seeing a lot more of you in Tampa in the next few years. Congratulations again. Jerry Gewurz. Justice Quince, it's been an honor and a privilege to have served under your direction under the Florida Board of Bar Examiners. I fondly remember our trip to San Francisco with your daughter. Uh, you were such a wonderful person to spend time with. You were a great mentor. You left us such a great legacy uh, in the state of Florida. You'll be forever remembered for all the good that you've done. Uh, on a personal note, my wife also asked that I extend her best to you. She finally recalls at a policy session spending some time with you and the two of you spending some time shopping for shoes. And hopefully the two of you can find some time to have the opportunity to do that again. But again, thank you for all that you've done for the judicial system in the state of Florida. It's been a tremendous honor and a privilege, and I'm so blessed to have had the opportunity to work with you. All the best, and I hope to stay in touch with you. Thanks. Hello, and congratulations, Justice Sora, Peggy Quince, on your much-deserved retirement. Thanks for your many years of uh, commitment to the Florida judiciary system and fighting for our shared values. Now take a much deserved continuous vacation like the cruise you just returned from. Much happiness in the years to come. Sandra Myers and here's Jimmy. Congratulations on a job well done. I want to commend you for all the work that you have done while you were on the bench and also on the legacy that you have established for others to come after you. It's something that we're all very proud of, not just women, but all of us. You set a good example and left a good legacy. So enjoy your time as you turn the page and begin a whole new chapter in your life. Congratulations. Well done. We love you, Sandra and Jimmy Myers. Hello, Peggy, this is Renelia DuBose, and you're special to me because when you came to my law school to talk to my students, you talked about the fact that you were a daughter, a wife, a mother, and a grandmother. And no matter what you accomplish, those are the most important roles you have. And thank you for being that kind of woman and setting the example for wives, mothers, and sisters to come. Love you. Congratulations, Sarah Peggy. We wish you well and enjoy your future endeavor as you be a new retired citizen of Hillsborough County. And just look back at the legacy you left on the Supreme Court and the many things that you challenged and made decisions on in life. And we thank you for your public service for the years that you served as our Supreme Court Justice for the state of Florida. Again, congratulations from Randolph and Gwen Myers. Justice Quince, congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. I had the honor of appearing in front of you many times in your career at the second DCA in the Florida Supreme Court, and you were always such a pleasure to be in front of you. You were always 
so prepared and and so open-minded and so fair and always incredibly polite. Just a just a pleasure. Anyway, whatever the next chapter in your life is going to be, I hope you have an absolute blast. Congratulations again. Okay. Hey, Justice Quince, it's Margaret Matthews and Amy Ferrier, and congratulations on your incredible career. We we're supposed to think of a memory, and the one I think of often, most often is your incredible, I'll call it your inauguration. I don't think that's the proper name. In the Supreme Court, and what a wonderful day. Yeah. Oh, installation. Yeah. What a wonderful day that was, and how proud we all were of you. You've been an inspiration to all of us on the court. As an appellate lawyer, I will miss you more than I can say on the, on the bench. Thank you so much for your years of service. And have You're fun. Amazing. Yes, and have fun. <laughs> most important. Thank you. Hi, I'm State Representative Wenge Newt Newton, and I want to wish Judge Quince a happy retirement. I want to thank you for your, all your years of service on the bench and your service to the great state of Florida. Again, I'm State Representative Wenge Newt Newton, District 7. Happy retirement, Judge. Hi, Justice Quince. It's Emily Peacock, 13th Judicial Circuit. I'm so excited to be here at your celebration tonight, and I want to thank you for the excellent service you've given the state of Florida. I cannot think of a better example of integrity and sound jurisprudence than you've given us. I congratulate you on your years of service, and I hope you enjoy every minute of the retirement as much as you've enjoyed your trip these last few months. I'm also bringing you greetings from Woody and Claudia Isom, from Judge Manny Menendez, from Judge Linda Allen, from Judge Trish Thomas. We were all together at the Advanced Trial Advocacy Conference in Gainesville this week, and they uh, stayed there to finish the conference, and I came to bring you greetings from all of us. Congratulations, it's a wonderful party. Best of everything to you. Hi, I'm Mike Peacock, and I just want to say best wishes on a retirement after many, many wonderful years of service. The, entire bar in the state of Florida gives thanks for all that you've been able to do, both for the causes of women as well as for the uh, serving of those who have special needs within the justice system. Thank you very much for hard work. My name is Laura Buckine. Hi, I'm Peggy Buckine, fondly known as Peggy Jr. <laughs> And we just wanted to say congratulations, Mom. We, we love, love you. you. You deserve the world, even though you just saw half of it on your cruise. <laughs> <laughs> but you have left behind a legacy that we could only dream to aspire to. Right. Thank you from the entire state of Florida. Florida. And especially from the Quince family and the Buckeye family, everyone that couldn't be here tonight, we're all here with you in spirit. It's been an honor to be Peggy Jr. I hope one day to be half of the woman you are. We love you. We love you. We love you. And Dad says hi, hi. and congratulations. <laughs> Bye. Good evening, Justice Lewis. Uh, my name is Itani Moten, and I'm the regional counsel for the Second District Court of Appeal. I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. I wish you all the best. I wanted to thank you so much for everything you've done. We so appreciate the seminar that you did in Fort Myers on professionalism. It was astounding. Uh, everyone loved what you had to say, and it really made a huge mark on all the attorneys that heard you. So I just wanted to say thank you again. I know it was a very long trip, and I really appreciate you taking the time to come out and speak to us. And best wishes on your retirement. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carlene Genius. I am a 3L at Florida A&M University College of Law, class of 2020. I just wanted to wish Justice Quince a happy retirement. I met Justice Quince in South Africa last year with Stetson Law, and um, she was just so humble and so nice. I didn't even know who she was at first, but we formed a bond, and I'm just so happy that she's able to enjoy the fruit of her labor. Happy retirement, Justice Quince. Hi, my name is Jean Collins, and I love Peggy Quince. She's a darling, she's a dear friend, and we just wish her all the best in her new endeavors. We pray that God will be with her. Love you, Peggy. Bye. Laurel Jones. Hello, Honorable Justice Peggy Quince. 
Obviously, I'm a soror of yours and a member of Gamma Theta Omega. I am so, so pleased to be a part of this wonderful celebration of the awesome career that you've had. And I'm also so glad that I'm in the same chapter with you. I look forward to hearing about your world travels and I look forward to all of the adventures that are to come for you. You are amazing and I love you. If it please Peggy Quince, my name is Bill Muncy, and if you will remember, we spent years together doing hard time at the Attorney General's office. You and I bonded through your father. We both were great fans on Prisoner Cell Block H. It went through Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the United Kingdom, and they would not air it on a network. And I think your dad and I were the only two who watched it. And we went into great depth on it. And after I got to know your dad, I figured out you weren't a half bad egg. So if you need anything, you give me a call. Good luck. And you've done a wonderful job. Hey, Justice Quince, this is Sean. I just wanted to say I'm happy to be here to celebrate your legacy. And listen, when the, when the annals of history are written about Florida's legal history and giants, there's going to be a chapter on you. You're awesome. You're amazing. We're so sad that you're no longer going to be, in the, be on the bench, but we know the community is going to, going to gain a warrior, even the Florida Supreme Court's losing one. So I'm happy on your retirement. Thank you. Hi, I'm LaFawn McKay. Peggy, I have such fond memories of you and Fred and the girls. And I just thank you for those years that you gave me with you, with your family. And I wish you the best. And remember that life is so precious and celebrate it every day. And I hope you have a wonderful retirement. i never forget you. i never forget your girls and always remember me. God bless you. I love you. Hi, I'm Rosalind Roker. I am a member of Gamma Theta Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha. I'm one of uh, Peggy Sorority sisters. Sir Peggy, I just want to wish you a wonderful retirement. May God continue to bless you. And thank you so much for all your many years of service. I totally admire you. Um, you're so humble to be so accomplished. And you are just such a great role model. So thank you so much. I love you. And may God continue to bless you. That's it. My name is Latarsha Brown. I've been an attorney for about 13 years now. And I just want to say that Justice Quince is such an inspiration. I remember um, as being a young attorney looking at the Florida Channel and watching her as she discusses cases and the questions that she asks and the knowledge she had of the case presidents. It was just such an inspiration, not only because she's a woman, not only because she's a minority, but because she just had that professionalism, the class, the intelligence. So. Thank you for being an inspiration. Justice Quince, I'm toasting you on this wonderful event that is all about you. I'm proud that you are a Stetson grad. I am proud of your service to our legal community. I am proud of you as a woman. I am proud of you as a trailblazing black woman lawyer. Cheers. Here's to a great retirement. Hi, Justice Quince, it's Tracy. I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement and to tell you how much it's meant to me over the years that when I first met you, you were already a judge, but you've always just been a friend and a really great mentor to all of us. And I've loved working with you on the board at Stetson and I just can't wait to hear about all your adventures. So congratulations and thank you so much. Hi, I'm Donald Harrell of the Crestwood high school class of 66, a classmate of Justice Quince. I'm perhaps the only one here from our class, and I'd like to thank her on behalf of the class for extraordinary accomplishments over time. Again, congratulations, Peggy, from Crestwood High School class of 1966. I'm Carolyn House Stewart, and I just want to wish my very good friend the person who inspires others and has been such an impactful leader and a great jurist, Peggy Quince, congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. Thank you for your friendship and thank you for your service to the state of Florida. We love you. 
Hello, this is Janine Williams. I am so excited for Justice Quince and her retirement. I'm so pleased that you have set the example for me and everyone in the state of Florida. Your service to our bar and to the Florida Supreme Court has been exemplary. I believe that you deserve every moment of every cruise and every vacation that you are going to get. If you can recall, you swore me in when I was nine months pregnant in 1999, and I just couldn't believe that you took the time to bring me into the Florida Supreme Court chambers and swear me in on kind of a last minute notice three days before Christmas. So I appreciate that, and I'm so grateful for you and everything that you've done for the state of Florida. Enjoy retirement. Congratulations. Howard Williams, Justice Quince, I want to thank you so much um, for what you have done for the legal community here in the state of Florida and just being an inspiration. I can recall meeting you as a student when I was at Stetson University College of Law and you were just such an inspiration to me then and an inspiration to me now. Thank you for all the paths that you have trailblazed and all the doors that you have opened for so many of us and your commitment to the legal community and to the study of law. I only hope that I can have a, a small portion of the effect on the legal community and the community at whole that you have had. I hope that your retirement is everything that you expect it to be and that you spend as much time as possible enjoying the fruits of the labor that you have put in over your illustrious career. Once again, I just want to say thank you for being an inspiration to me, to my wife, and to everybody that knows you. God bless. Okay. Hi, I'm Wendy LaQuasto. I want to wish you, Justice Quinn's, a wonderful retirement. You go, girl. You have a great time. Lots of love, lots of friendship, lots of fun. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Tiffany Moore Russell, the Orange County Clerk of Court. Congratulations, Justice Quince, on your retirement. It has been such a pleasure to watch your career and learn so much from you. I truly hope you enjoy this retirement and that you see the world at your desire. Love you so much, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye-bye. Justice Quince, this is James Aaron from Sebring, Hollins County, Florida. Just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you and your tremendous exemplary judicial career. I want to express my personal appreciation for being a source of encouragement for me. I was seeking readmittance to the Florida Bar. Uh, I always depend upon you to encourage me to continue and go forward. And because of that, ultimately, I was successful. I hope you enjoy your retirement. It's well deserved. I hope you continue to inspire others as you've inspired me. Thank you so very much. Hey, Justice Quince, gee, it's Rochelle Munson, and I kind of don't know where to begin, but if there was anything that I could say, it would simply be thank you. Thank you for your leadership, thank you for your mentorship, thank you for your sisterhood, and thank you for just developing a pathway for others just like me. I can't say I'm gonna miss you, because I think I'm just gonna try to follow a little bit in those footsteps as I try to still pave my own. God bless you during your retirement, and on those cruises to come, c'est la vie. My name is Ali Shakur. I just wanna say it's been a pleasure practicing in front of Justice Quince over the years. Um, her, just serving on the court in her capacity has been a very strong inspiration for me in my legal career. Um, going up there as a young black attorney and just seeing a, another black justice up there just inspires me to do better and inspires me to um, be the best lawyer I can be. I wish her a happy retirement. I like to thank her for all of the um, rulings over the years, even when I disagree. And I wish her a long, happy, healthy retirement. Thank you. Sarah Peggy, this world is a much better place because of your good heart. There are many blessings that last us a short time. But Sarah Peggy, you are a blessing that will last us for a lifetime. Have fun. Know that we appreciate and love you. And also, I want you to dance like nobody is looking. Have fun. Bye. Hey, Peggy. Congratulations. A long and uh, wonderful career up there. Uh, uh, wish we kept in touch better over the years. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, wish I'd stayed on as, as an aide with you. But uh, uh, we both did our thing. We're both retired. And... Uh, 
We're both traveling, so congratulations around the world. I don't think I'd stay away that long with my two dogs at home, but uh, we're, uh, we're traveling too. So congratulations again, and I hope I'll get to see you here. Thank you. Hi, I'm Donna Douglas, and I'm one of Peggy's sorority sisters, and I'm so delighted to be here this evening to celebrate her retirement. You've done an extraordinary job, and you deserve the very best that life has to offer. I wish you well. Happy retirement. Hi, Justice Quince. It is such an honor to be here in Tampa on May 17th at the Florida Supreme Court Historical Society celebration of your career. I know you a little bit from Tallahassee, from the Tallahassee Women Lawyers. I'm so excited to see you here, see June McKinney here, see Wendy LaQuasto here, and it is such an honor to be here and that you brought it here to Tampa. I want to tell a joke because it's for video, and I, they wanted me to have a personal story, and the only personal story I have is with Judge Clark. And I had broken my uh, ankle, and I was going to a women lawyers meeting at, there, and the um, and Justice, Judge Clark said, Kim, what happened to your, uh, to your leg, Kim O'Connor? And I said, Oh, I, I fell in the middle of the night. I was making a peanut butter sandwich. And she said, that's the most boring story I've ever heard in my life. We have to make something up. I said, well, I'm not a very good liar. So we decided together that I had gone skydiving and broken my ankle. So we're going in, and a gentleman who worked there, uh, who was leading us to our table, said, that, so how would you break your ankle? I said, oh, skydiving. He said, I skydive. Where did you skydive? And I said, oh, <laughs> over in Quincy. You know, Quincy. I skydive in Quincy. Tell me, were you at the tandem jump? And I looked at Judge Clark and I said, I cannot continue on with this. So that's my funny story with judges in Tallahassee. And I love you. We all love you. You've been such an inspiration to everyone, but especially young women and young women of color, how many you have brought into the legal profession here in Florida. And I thank you for that and everything else you've done, the stellar example that you are. God bless you. Hello, my name is Roberta Walton. Well, sorry, Roberta Walton, to you, sorry, Peggy. <laughs> I just want to, first of all, tell you thank you for being a complete woman of God. Um, I recall the first time I met you, I was in Tallahassee, and I went there for an AKA day at the Capitol. And while I'd lived in Tallahassee previously before relocating to Orlando and going to the law school there, um, I, always, I was enamored by you because you just seemed so powerful. And to meet you along with Tiffany Moore Russell there in Tallahassee, we were walking to our car from the Capitol building one day and you stopped and offered us a ride to our car. And I thought, oh my God, I can't get in the car with a Florida Supreme Court justice. But instead of you making me feel like I was in the company of a Florida Supreme Court justice, you made me feel like I was in the, in the car with an African-American woman with a SOAR with another black jurist. And I want to tell you thank you for that. Your level of humility is just phenomenal. Every time I see you, you cast a light around the circle. You never make anybody feel small. Everyone feels the same in your presence. And with all the knowledge that you bring to the table, with all of the, um, the service, and the trailblazing um, role that you play in this community, I want to tell you the thing that I see when I see you is I see my sister, I see my Sora, I see hope, I see faith, I see um, bigger, um, and I just I, I see the light. So I want to tell you thank you for everything that you've done, for laying the roadmap for uh, others like myself. Um, enjoy your retirement. You certainly deserve it. Um, you're a beautiful spirit, a beautiful person, and I'm so happy to call you my Sora. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Arthenia Joyner, an attorney here in Tampa, and thank God, a friend of the Honorable Peggy Quince, Chief Justice forever in my mind of the Florida Supreme Court. Peggy, I am just thrilled and delighted to be here tonight to celebrate your wonderful career as a lawyer, as a judge, as a justice of the Supreme Court. 
And as a person of faith and one who has always worked for her fellow man, all that you've done and the legacy that you have left will be here forever. And I'm just proud and happy and pleased to have been here to celebrate it with you. And in Bon Voyage, as I know you have many more trips planned to take to see the rest of the world, and I wish you Godspeed. Hello, Justice Quince, J. Yvette Presley. Just want to, you to know that I'm honored to be here. It has been a privilege knowing you, knowing of you, and then meeting you personally through your daughters, Peggy and Laura, and I was able to meet your wonderful husband and your sisters, and it's just been an honor. And congratulations on your retirement, and thank you for all of your contributions to the legal profession and all the speeches that you have given to encourage all of us young lawyers. And I'm not that young, but <laughs> but thank you for everything. We love you and we'll miss you. Take care and God bless. Hi, I am Judge Mary Scriven, uh, the United States District Judge for the Middle District of Florida. And I am bringing greetings to Justice Quince on this momentous occasion. You have no idea what an inspiration you have been to my life. I remember when you became a Supreme Court judge and you were holding my little baby in your arms. He is now 20 years old, six foot five, 200 pounds. A lot has passed through over the years, but you have remained true to the Constitution and true to the laws of Florida. I wish you well as you continue in your work and your life endeavors. All the best, love you. Good evening, Justice Quince. My name is Teresa Jean-Pierre Coy. I'm an attorney here in Tampa. I am the immediate past president of the George Edgecombe Bar Association. And I just want to wish you a wonderful and happy retirement. Um, thank you for being one of the founding members of the George Edgecombe Bar Association. You are truly a woman that um, I admire and look up to. And just your journey, your journey throughout the legal career has just been amazing. Um, just want to let you know that um, I look up to you. I am so happy that you are enjoying your retirement. Um, we are Facebook friends, so I am following your journey all through social media. And I just want to wish you just the best ever. Um, we truly love you. Jeeba loves you. And we just thank you for everything. So please stay in contact. Please continue to support us. And um, we just, we love you. So happy retirement. Bye. Good evening. My name is Travis Coy, and I'm the uh, vice president of George Edgecombe Bar Association. I just want to say, uh, Justice Quince, you have been truly a role model uh, for me, in particular being an uh, African-American attorney. The fact that there was someone on the bench that actually looked like me made a big difference, and it actually encouraged me to go further in my legal career. And I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being a trailblazer, and your legacy will definitely live on. And enjoy your retirement. It's well-deserved. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Cornelius Demps. I'm a former appellate prosecutor at the AG's office in Tampa under Bob Krause. And uh, now I work for a firm in downtown Tampa, Smoke Kisselini and Barnett, practicing appellate work. Uh, just want to congratulate Justice Quince on her retirement. You've done an excellent job throughout your career. You've been a role model. You're someone who came out of the AG's office all the way to the Florida Supreme Court. You're an inspiration and someone to look up to. Uh, as a prosecutor, I love your decision tonight night the state and as a defense attorney I also like your decision at night versus the state so thank you very much congratulations to you hi justice Quince this is Jane um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything that you have done um, over your amazing career and you are um, a wonderful mentor um, for many of us um, and I also want to, in particular, thank you for being a liaison to the Florida Board of Bar Examiners, which, as you know, I serve on now. And uh, it's amazing how much work it is and how much influence and involvement the court has. And I know that you were in that role for a period of time, so I wanted to thank you specifically for that. And um, other than that, um, thank you so much for sharing the pictures of your world journey. Um, they were absolutely amazing, and it's reinforced my desire to travel with my mom um, some more and um, take advantage of her, um, her good health because she's 81. 
and so I'm uh, going to plan some things on the horizon and looking forward to your pictures from your next world adventure next year. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for everything you've done, and um, uh, I still remember the book club that we were in together in Tallahassee way back in the early 90s, and um, I respect you tremendously. I love you. I wish you good fortune, good health, and longevity. I am Jamila Little, and I am Shamika Askew Storey. And we just want to say how awesome it is to actually know Justice Quince and have the opportunity to have been in her presence. And we just want to appreciate, thank you and appreciate you for doing such a phenomenal job leading the way for young black lawyers. So thank you so much for all you've done. Congratulations on retiring and we wish you the best. Absolutely. Hi, I am Tanya O'Connor, as if you didn't know who I am. Um, let me just say that those years that I clerked for you on the second were some of the best years of my professional life. I have to say I experienced the most growth um, professionally and a lot of growth personally as well. Uh, you know I love you. I love your family. Thank you for sewing into me and into my family, both you and Fred. And um, I just wish you many, many years of happiness, of peace, and travel, because I know how much you love that. God bless you. Bye-bye. Justice Peggy Quince, my name is Berlini St. Fort, and we met on my study abroad trip last summer in South Africa. I'm from FAMU College of Law, and I thank you so much for your years of service. It's been a pleasure knowing you. And I really look up to you because you're such a wonderful woman. Please never change. Thank you. Justice Quince, um, it is my honor. Uh, my name is David Reeves. Uh, I'm the vice chair of the Florida Board of Bar Examiners. And it is my honor to congratulate you on behalf of the board and, and myself personally uh, for your distinguished career and for your retirement. Uh, we wish you nothing but the best. We thank you for your service to the state and to the Board of Bar Examiners. Um, I will take personal pride in noting that uh, I too am a, a graduate of the Catholic University Columbus School of Law. Um, and so we, we share a special bond there as well. We wish you nothing but the best and uh, hope you have a wonderful, happy, healthy retirement. God bless. Hi, my name is Elaine and I am from New Hope Missionary Baptist Church as well as Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Peggy, I am so proud of you. I was there when you got sworn in. Uh, we did a quartet singing with you and I'll give you a little piece of that right now. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. Do you remember that? We had so much fun that day. We were so proud of you then and we're so proud of you now. And I'd also like everybody to know that you were my Sunday school teacher for a very long time. You and Sandra Cook and Jackie Johnson were the awesome trio. And I learned so much about God at that time. And I'm just so proud of you. I want to be like you when I grow up. And I just don't know what else to say, but I'm, you're just an awesome person. Bye and have a good day. Bye. Hi, Peggy. This is such a momentous occasion. Again, congratulations on your retirement. I remember we first met in the Coalition of 100 Black Women many, many years ago. We formed a bond and a friendship that I truly cherish. Later on, we became links. You in the Tallahassee chapter, me in the Tampa chapter. We continued to work with Lynx Day at the Capitol and I followed you every day on your world journey. Peggy, I'm just so happy for you. I cherish your friendship and I love you, my link sister. Take care. Good evening. I am Sarah Tressa Jones and I just want to wish much uh, success, blessings to our justice, Peggy Quince. Um, who is my Sarad, I am so privileged to say that fall 95, 1995, she mentored me into Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority 
and I have been privileged to be able to share that story as my walk of life because I tell you, she is the most humble, humble person. And I just want you to know that I, I congratulate you and I want you to enjoy life because this is the time that God has bestowed upon you to really just enjoy it. So I, I appreciate you, I love you, and I just want to wish you the best. Thank you. Justice Quince, I'm really, really grateful for this opportunity to express to you how much you've meant to not just me, but to my family. As you know, we have a long history going back many, many years. And you've been a part of my career and my life, whether you've known it or not. As you know, Fred actually helped me make the decision to go to law school. And for that, I'm forever grateful. And I appreciate all the times that we've had to spend together as families, the Mother's Days, you know, the times with the girls, and I just want to take this opportunity to wish you well on your next step in life. Thank you so much for all you've done for the state of Florida, for the people of this community, and I look forward to the many great things that you'll do for us moving forward. Congratulations on your retirement. Justice Quince, thank you so much for your service to the citizens of the state of Florida, but most of all, the role model that you have created for all the women of Florida, all the lawyers of Florida, and especially those that call Tampa Bay home like me because you've been an inspiration and encouragement, just awesome from, for many, many decades. We love you, enjoy your retirement. You certainly deserve it. Greetings, Sarah Quince. My name is attorney Jean Oguntide. I just wanted to come give you many, many congratulations and a bunch of love. As an inspiring young lawyer, you are always an inspiration and somewhat of a mentor to me. I looked up to you for what I should reach my goals to become one day. You'll be greatly missed in the legal community, especially in Tallahassee. So I hope someone is up and coming to fill your shoes, although they'll be really big shoes to fill. So I want you to enjoy your retirement, live life to the fullest, and thank you for being such the role model that you've always been. Congratulations. My name is June McKinney. Hi. And I've been tasked with paying tribute to Justice Peggy Ann Quince. She is one of our living legends in Florida. Now, you can read a lot about her on the internet, the accolades that she's accomplished and all that history, but I'm not here to talk about that today. What I want to shed light on is who she is and why she's accomplished so much. This remarkable woman is an example for us all. She only strives for and obtains excellence. And it started with her foundation. She's a native from Virginia raised by a single parent, her father, and he taught she and her four siblings the importance of working hard. She matriculated through segregated schools, and during that time, she developed a loyalty and perfected developing relationships. She has the same friends now that she had in second grade. All these years, how do we know they're still friends? They still visit each other? They came to her swearing in when she became the first African-American judge on the Florida District Court of Appeal, female. Those same friends were at her swearing in when she became Chief Justice of the Florida Supreme Court and the first African-American female to lead any branch of government. She attended Howard University, where she was initiated into Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And she's still active today. Will all her sorority sisters please raise their hand? She went to Catholic University for law school, and she loves both her alma maters. She goes back for anniversaries and homecomings. While working in the AG's office for 13 years, she expanded her family. She last held the position 
a bureau chief, and she became an expert on death penalty cases. Justice Quince is still so close with her friends for the Attorney General's office, she goes back for Thanksgiving luncheons. How do I know? Because she took me. Okay. <laughs> um, she socializes with her extended family from the Attorney General's office. They visit each other and they travel together. I think Bob Krause is in here somewhere. And there he is. Raise your hand, Bob. Just came off the cruise with her from the AG's office. It's important to note, though, that she loves to give back to her community. It's a priority, both her legal community and her local community. She never turns down a speaking engagement if she's available. In Tallahassee, she devoted a lot of time to the Pace Center for Girls. She also worked with Tallahassee Women Lawyers Legacy of Excellent program, which is with high school girls. She volunteered with the Girl Scouts in West Palm Beach. She speaks at schools nationally and statewide. And in addition to that, she previously held the position of chair of the National Bar Association, where she had youth outreach programs internationally. With her busy schedule, you would think that she didn't have time for hobbies, but that's not true. She loves to scrapbook. She has a serious playlist. She counts her steps, so if you're up for a challenge, talk to her about those steps. And she also loves to read outside the legal arena. It's imperative to know that nothing is too little for Justice Quince to do. We once had a project at the Civic Center in Tallahassee where we were putting seat covers and tying bows on the back of the chairs. And everybody kept saying, Justice Quince, Justice Quince, we've got this. But she insisted on putting her own seat covers on and tying her own bows. Nothing's too little for her. I could also testify to how caring and compassionate she is. She made it to the hospital to see my father when she was being sworn in Chief Justice of the Supreme Court before I did. Now think about it. People from all over America were in town to celebrate her, but she was at the hospital visiting my father, caring and compassionate. I've learned a lot about work-life balance from her. You know, she's a mother of two, Peggy Jr. and Laura. She was married to the late Fred Buckheim, who also was in the judiciary and had an esteemed legal career. And she's always told me, don't balance life and work. Make work and life happy so that you're effective. You don't have to balance anything. I've told you a few things about her, and I could go on and on all night, but we don't have time for that. But what's important is to remember the characteristics to make her a shero and make all of us here love her. So what we need to do, and I challenge each of you to do it, is to strive to be like her. Be impeccably professional. Recognize the importance of friendships and relationships. Be dedicated and loyal. Strive for excellence and effectiveness. Be a hard worker, caring, down to earth, and volunteer in your community. Tonight, we are very lucky to celebrate her. It is the end of her illustrious over 25 year judicial career. She just returned yesterday from the world cruise, 118 days, 26 countries, and 50 ports. Everybody needs to put that on your goal list. If we're gonna do like Justice Quince, let's retire that way. This petite woman in stature is a giant history maker. She's affected the life of at least 21 million Floridians. Please help me welcome her this evening. Justice Quince.
I want to clear up something that has been asked about all evening, and that is people have noticed that when they last saw me in January, I had black hair, <laughs> or blackish hair anyway. And so they asked me, how, why, how in the world did I get gray so quickly? Well, you know, I went on, as June just told you, a 113-day uh, cruise with my sister Barbara Everett, my friend Bob Krause, and his wife Kathy Krause. And all of you who know Bob Krause know that if you are with him for 113 days, you will be gray. <laughs> But it won't stop me from traveling with him some, uh, some, uh, again. And he is the one who's really gotten me into the travel bug. So thank you, my friend Bob. I want to just take a few moments and thank all of you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Florida Historical Society for having this reception. I want to encourage each of you to become a member of the Florida Historical Society. Florida Supreme Court Historical Society, because the Florida Supreme Court's history is truly a part of Florida's history. And so uh, for all of us who are interested in the law and interested in history, I think being a member of that uh, Supreme Court Historical Society would uh, benefit you. As you, I don't know if you've noticed on the screen, the Historical Society, <clears throat> has uh, done a project of doing the justices' portraits that you see uh, in the courtroom and in the lawyer's lounge. They are interested in and are handling the justices' papers that you will have an opportunity in the future uh, to see. Uh, they archive the information that comes out of, of the Florida Supreme Court and they have a journal where they do wonderful articles about the court and about the history of our state. So I would encourage you to please think about joining the Florida Supreme Court Historical Society. <laughs> so come on, yeah, Mark. And uh, I want to thank June McKinney for those kind words. It's always uh, wonderful to be on a program with June. But I have to thank all of you, most of all, not only for being here, but for being a part of my life over the last at least 35 years. I, I came to Florida in 1978, which is really more like 45 years, isn't it? <laughs> uh, at, and I was with the Attorney General's office for a number of years, and I made such great friends, and that was such a wonderful and professional office that I really enjoyed the time that I spent there. And then I moved on to the Second District Court of Appeal, where I worked with some wonderful jurists in this state, including, I know Judge uh, Altenburn is here tonight. I saw uh, Judge Marvin Crenshaw here tonight. And it's just been a real pleasure to work with all of them. And then, of course, I've been on the, I was on the Florida Supreme Court for about 20 years, and I worked with some of the finest jurists that you would ever meet. And I know that uh, the ones who have been appointed to the court are going to do a wonderful job for the people of this state. But I just, I, I have my sorority sisters here, I have other people that I have worked with, some of my uh, former staff attorneys. It is just fills my heart to really see all of you here tonight and to know that you have contributed to whatever success I have had in my legal career. I thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if I have not said hello personally to you tonight, I will do so. I want to shake every hand in this room. I want to hug every person in this room so that you know 
but I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much. And for those of you who uh, followed my journey around the world on Facebook, I just want you to know that next year I'm going to journey around Antarctica and South America <laughs> and Africa. And so I'll be posting on Facebook again. But thank you so much, all of you, for being here. <laughs>